know, in our, in our business, contract manufacturing, uh, the, the real game here is to differentiate yourself from the pack, right? So uh, when we're doing that, certainly one of the ways to do that is capital equipment selection. Um, so for us, the capital equipment selection process is pretty easy. From the top down, uh, our goal is to find the best equipment. Not the best bargain, not the most value, but the best equipment in the marketplace. And, and for us, uh, we define that as, of course, the, the hardware, the software, but also the support. Um, you know, we've had a long relationship with Brent and we felt very comfortable with the fact that Brent was going to be, uh, you know, uh, associated with Co Young and that we were going to get stellar support from him. So that checked that box. We're, of course, using a performance matrix and looking at uh, how Co Young performs against the competition. Um, there was really, uh, it, it was really uh, an easy decision at that point. Uh, we were going from, uh, you know, stone knives and bear skins to 3D measurement. It, it, was a, it was a paradigm shift for us. We, in the past, our gear, as well as some of the gear we, we were evaluating, would just be two-dimensional, right? We're scanning the board, we're comparing that board to other two-dimensional images we have in a library, and we're able to do some differentiation between same or different, right? But we were very limited in our ability to actually identify non-conformances, and therefore very limited in our ability to uh, improve processes, you know, by utilizing this gear. Um, we looked at the Ko Young gear and we said, you know, this is a tool that is going to provide us with an enormous amount of information that's going to, um, you know, for one, it's going to allow us to provide a very, um, a very good product to our internal customers and then in turn to our external customers while also alerting us in real time to where we can, you know, improve the process, whether that's, you know, uh, specifically process related or maybe it's uh, design related that we can feed back to our customers. Go Young has really changed the game for us as far as ease of uh, launching new products and um, in, in continually improving the existing product that we have. Uh, the tools are powerful. We use K-Smart every day to monitor in real time and, and uh, historically go through uh, defects and form corrective action plans based off of the information that Ko Young uh, provides. The performance of the lines is stellar, and I tell you know prospective customers this, as well as existing customers. Um, we're performing at a, uh, a level that a lot of OEMs, I think, would be envious of. Um, and really, the Ko Young gear is what allows us to do that. We're real-time dispositioning, um, so we know immediately whether the line is performing at a, a satisfactory level or not. Um, if it's not, we're making adjustments. Uh, and to the extent where, you know, we're measuring performance via DPMO or defects per million opportunities and our, our termination DPMO is uh, approaching Six Sigma. Our, our placement DPMO is not that far behind. So when you consider that we don't uh, have any design authority and a lot of times we're working to process out design issues, those numbers are just absolutely incredible. The programming of this machine is super quick and easy. Um, like when Ko Young came to set this machine up, uh, the field service engineer who helped us, he said you can generate a program for this machine in less than five minutes, and he's been right. Uh, I can make a full program for that in two or three minutes. Uh, it's, it's very simple to program, but it's very, very repeatable. So just because it's quick to program doesn't mean that it's not a good machine because it, it's a very, very top-notch machine. And what's nice about the Ko Young is they make their software so easy to use and the, the engineers who need to program this kind of equipment, um, they don't have to spend a, a lot of time getting the set up because the main thing is getting the program out to the floor so that you can run production, right? So that, that's where they, they definitely shine. And the other thing with this uh, equipment and the gear is Everything that goes through here, we, we serialize all our boards. So if we have an issue with something, it keeps all the data for every board. So you can look back and see if you had uh, some defect on the board that the machine picked up on that maybe the operator let go. Um, but the, the machine's going to find the issues 
and the print process for us is one of the most important processes in surface mount. So we want to catch the defects or any issues right here at this machine before it goes downstream. The greatest impact is just the feedback to our operators. Um, you know, we we feedback this information on a, a daily and a weekly basis, and it's allowed our operators to understand that you know, hey, if I set up the printer in this manner, you know, I'm going to uh, potentially have some. Uh, Print defects, and again, that that feedback is is real time. Same with our, our pick and place operators, um, so they're able to make adjustments on the pick and place gear real time and improve those processes in in real time. The, the time to launch products um, is reduced with this equipment. It allows me to make quick edits on the fly without bringing the whole production line to a halt. I'm able to improve the inspection criteria while we're uh, live running the boards down the line. I spent hardly any time on this. Um, it, we take a file from our stencil house and we take our pick and place, our, our CAD, and marry them together in the software. And, you, and I have a set tolerance uh, file that I set up and apply that and I'm done. It's, it's ready to go. When you come out to the line, there's a quick bareboard teach that you perform and it actually has the ability to take an image of the board to overlay it like behind the, as you can see on the screen there so the operator can see where the issues are where they lie if there's anything that a call that comes up and it's the interface is also nice for the operators that they can quickly and easily understand what the issue is where it's at and what they need to do then to if they need to make any changes to the printer uh, to you know take those defects out of the process and uh, depending on the nature of the issue, uh, the factory can, uh, you know, just pour it into the machine and they can troubleshoot from wherever they are. Um, and if it's something more significant than that, and we really haven't had that issue, but they'll be on site. And I know this for a fact because we, uh, a few years back, had a catastrophic event that uh, required us to get out of our old location and into a new location in very short order. And I called up Brent and I said, here's the situation, I'm in dire need of technical support. And within a week, I had uh, technical people on site making sure that we were basically restarting the gear. I tell people that I called up all the major capital equipment suppliers uh, to call in a favor. And I'm sure each and every one of them, including Brent, uh, thought I was calling to wish him a Merry Christmas, but in fact I was, you know, calling him to tell him that we were in dire need of help, and, and he responded like I would expect Brent to respond. We feel like Ko Young is a partner. They're just not an equipment supplier to us, and we're going to lean on them as much as we possibly can. You know, this is a very critical piece of equipment. Without this, you'd have to do it visually, and it's just not reliable. You know, you need a machine that you can rely on to find those types of issues, so yeah, it raises our quality level probably 20 fold. The, the easier the gear is to use, the easier the gear is to interpret, um, the lower the skill level required, frankly. Um, so, in, in a challenging time like this where it's very difficult to hire people um, and it's even more difficult to bring people up to speed to where they're at a subject matter expert level, um, having the gear, uh, you know, be easy to interpret and uh, easy to use is, is vitally important to our success.